so you have been mistreated or betrayed and you feel like your feelings weren't taken into consideration and perhaps you were excluded or you've been lied to or you've been cheated on or whatever it is that happened to you that made you feel very upset and disappointed and now you have this grudge holding you back and you don't know what to do with it in this video i'm going to share with you three powerful tools that will help you move on and come out of your grudge even stronger than you have ever been before so stay tuned hello everyone dominica here with you and in this video i'm going to share with you three powerful tools that help you uh, let go of your grudge and become even a more stronger and, and uh, positive person than you've ever been before so before i begin this video please hit like down below and subscribe to my channel for more uh, similar content so without further ado let me begin so what is a grudge a grudge is an emotional experience that typically happens after someone has mistreated us it can also be a very physical a symptom for many people typically on the upper stomach area so whatever the situation has been we, we feel like this grudge is is like a leftover from the situation so so now you're left with the grudge and you don't know what to do with it so tool number one become aware of your grudge identify where it, your grudge is physically so for a lot of people, as I said earlier, grudge tends to be in the upper stomach area or in the stomach area. You often, you've often heard the analogy of um, having knots in the stomach. So that could be where grudge holds for a lot of people. So identifying that grudge and, and accepting that grudge for what it is. Becoming aware of it that it lives in your body or at the moment because of what happened to you and becoming aware of it and also becoming aware of your thought thought patterns and emotions around the whole situation so how do we do that so very powerful tool is to journal it or talk to someone that you trust preferably someone that would be quite uh, on neutral grounds uh, with the person that you had an issue with preferably uh, ideally it could be a therapist but say let's say you don't have the opportunity let's say all you have is a pen and paper that would be just perfect so you could set 30 minutes a day journaling down your thoughts and feelings about what happened and then shredding that piece of paper and moving on with your day if you do that uh, repeatedly over a number over a number of days you will feel the difference you will feel that some of your grudge is being now let go tip number two realizing a very important thing that the way people treat you is a reflection of themselves not you but of themselves this is people's own insecurities, their own lack of self-esteem and their own um, lack of confidence. So basically it's everything to do with them. So instead of wasting your time trying to figure out what, why have, has she or he treated me um, in a way that upset my feelings, especially if it happened over a no, numerous amount of time, realizing, realizing that this is that person's reflection of themselves. It's nothing to do with you, so don't take it personal. And another thing that I want you to do is realize who are you? Who do you identify with? Who, who is it that makes you you? So let's say, for example, you are a very giving person, you're a nice person, you're a thankful person. So enhance those qualities. And contrary to many beliefs, uh, do nice things to people, including the person that mistreated you, because this is who you are and not them. 
So that's, that's something that's uh, quite important to realize that will enhance your own um, perception of who you are, who you identify with, and as well, it will attract people that are on the same wavelength as you. So keep that in mind. Tool number three, and that's, that's one of my favorite tools. It's quite a powerful tool. So if you have a lot of grudge in you, a lot of anxiety in you, so grudge generally tends to manifest itself um, with strong feelings of anxiety, anger, uh, disappointment, and all of these kind of negative emotions. And they are quite powerful. And as I said earlier, realizing how powerful these emotions are, that they do live in you, is quite important. And this is the next step that I want you to do. When you've realized that you have these emotions within you, why not direct them towards something positive? We often think of anxiety as something that will drag us down, especially if it's grudge related. So we often uh, choose to uh, overthink and overanalyze. Why, have, why has she or he treated me such a way? However, that will only enhance those negative emotions. But why not go out there and break the records? Why not go out there and push for your fullest potential? Uh, so my, one of my favorite analogies is using Forrest Gump. In that particular movie, um, when, he, when he became upset with his girlfriend and he ran miles and miles and miles and he broke the records, all because he initially had the grudge and he used that grudge to push himself towards the potential, towards breaking those records. And if you do that, you'll become an even more confident person than you've ever been before and you'll become more in tune with yourself and with your higher self and and it will only stand to you in the long run anyway i hope you enjoyed these three tips please leave a comment down below if you uh, if you found this video quite helpful and definitely hit the like down below as well if you happen to resonate with the content of this video and for now Thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon.